Hello, I'm Christopher Kenworthy. I'm a freelance visual effects artist. I'm going to be showing you how to use After Effects to add edge blurring to an object in a composite. You can see here an object with a mask around it, which uh, that helps it blend in with the uh, tree line on the hill there. But the edges of the buildings themselves are very sharp and don't look realistic at all. So I duplicate the layer and rename it Background Blur. Then make the towers layer invisible and apply a Gaussian blur to the background blur. Then adjust the blurriness to about 5. You then adjust the scale to about 101%. That increases the size of the background blur so that it should peep out behind the towers. When you make the towers visible again, you can just see the blur showing behind it. Duplicate the towers layer again, and then the upper layer should be renamed as foreground blur. This time, before you apply a blur, you're going to need to draw a mask inside the main object. So use the pen tool to very roughly draw a mask around the inside. This does not have to be accurate. Normally, when you're masking something, especially if it's animated, you try to be very accurate, getting right up to the edges. With this, you're just leaving a bit of the object around the edge for the purpose of blurring, so it can be done really quickly and roughly. I apply the Gaussian blur and set the blurriness to somewhere around one or two. This means that an edge behind the object and an edge in front of it are both blurred, leaving the object itself sharp. This creates the illusion of edge blurring. You can adjust the opacity of the foreground and background blur if need be, and you can even adjust the levels to create some extra brightness if you want to. It always depends on what's in the background. and. Uh, is done entirely by feel.